My name is John Heilbronn. I'm an emeritus professor of history at the University of California at Berkeley. And my reason for being on your screen is to try to interest you in a book I've written called Galileo. Not Galileo this or Galileo that, but Galileo, essentially the life and work. I've tried to bring together not only his uh, well-known work on astronomy and on the mathematics, but also uh, his less known work on literary matters. He was before a mathematician, and before, long before he was a martyr. He was a literary man who liked to run in literary circles and do the things literary people do, like drinking and partying and talking about poetry, uh, gambling from time to time, and so on. Then he became a mathematician because he had to make a living and began as a mathematician at the bottom of the academic ladder. Uh, his uh, last appointment as a professor of mathematics was at the University of Padua in Venice, or the Venetian University, and he kept his powder dry through all that period of time, some 18 years. He was did not take sides politically in the Republic. He did not take sides with any order in the church. Uh, he dissimulated uh, his ideas about uh, philosophy and cosmology uh, until 1609. And in 1609, the mild professor began to transform himself into one of the figures of uh, romance in one of his uh, favorite poems. Uh, became a great champion of the uh, Copernican system of the universe in which the sun stands still in the center rather than the earth as in the traditional cosmology. Uh, and he did this uh, beginning with his uh, novel observations through the telescope of things never seen before, myriads of stars in the Milky Way, moons around Jupiter, phases of Venus, and so on. That made him a missionary, and it also made him enemies. It made him enemies among the religious orders, uh, especially among those who were biblical literalists and could point to passages like the famous one in Joshua, where Joshua commands the son to stand still so that he can complete some slaughter he had on hand, uh, and philosophers who did not uh, like the uh, Copernican system as in opposition to all sound uh, physics. Well, the best known perhaps of Galileo's uh, activities to the general public was his series of squabbles with the Roman Catholic Church, ending with his uh, showdown or shootout uh, with uh, Pope Urban VIII, who incidentally uh, had been a friend of his in 1633. The result of that was to condemn his book defending Copernicanism and to confine him for the rest of his life to a, his villa outside Florence. A nice place to visit, but not to spend your entire life. I end the book with a, uh, an outline of the efforts that the church made to uh, rehabilitate Galileo up to and including the special commission set up by Pope John Paul II, which reported out uh, at the end of the last century, 1992. It was not altogether satisfactory. Uh, and so at the very end of my book, I offer a suggestion which will end the Galileo affair to everybody's satisfaction in no less than another 400 years.